In this video, I'm making an effort to share the mods I use to enhance the immersion of Skyrim. I hope to provide mods that can undoubtedly be helpful to you. Before we dive in, I'd appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe and like buttons. Now, let's get started. First, let's talk about Rain Ash and Snow Shaders. Wet Frost Cold Dust. This mod adds visual effects to the player and NPCs based on specific conditions. For instance, on a rainy day, water droplets will fall from the characters, and on snowy days, snow will accumulate. During an ash storm, you can witness ash particles in the air. Moreover, when swimming, the mod creates bubbles, enhancing immersion through visual effects. Next up is Wet and Cold SE. This mod introduces visual effects and AI enhancements for both the player and NPCs based on the weather. For instance, during rain or snow, characters may wear waterproof gear like cloaks or hoods. On cold days, characters may exhale visible breath, and getting wet will cause water droplets to fall from the body, adding to the overall immersion. The mod also creates NPCs that respond appropriately to weather and environmental conditions. Next is Immersive Interactions. This mod allows your character to perform context-appropriate animations when interacting with the world. For instance, you can greet NPCs, hug followers, applaud when a bard performs, open doors with a hand motion, pet dogs, and more. It provides a variety of animations based on the situation, enhancing your immersion by allowing for immediate and diverse interactions in different scenarios. Next is No NPC Greetings. This mod prevents NPCs in Skyrim from greeting you. This means they won't interrupt or disturb you during important conversations or speeches. NPCs will only initiate conversations with you when you're in close proximity or in dialogue mode. With this mod, NPCs won't share details about their lives or opinions with you unless prompted. Vanilla Skyrim sometimes has the issue of too many NPCs approaching you for casual conversation, and with this mod, you can enhance immersion by encountering more indifferent NPCs. Next is Travelers of Skyrim. This mod introduces various travelers journeying through Skyrim whom you can encounter in towns or along the roads. These NPCs have diverse professions such as alchemists, Aye. merchants, mercenaries, and more. They visit over 30 locations, engaging in activities like eating, drinking, resting, and trading. You can choose to interact with or even kill these NPCs, and over time they respawn, providing a natural feel as you traverse Skyrim among its people. Next is Immersive Speechcraft. This mod allows for various interactions through conversations with NPCs. For example, depending on your speechcraft Please skill, you can make NPCs All follow right, you, trade items, assist in combat, like give gifts, ask for money, deceive right, them, then. engage in a fight, receive Please training, discuss the weather, commit uh, robbery, and more. So. It broadens the dialogue Please, options, I just need a coin enhancing too. immersion by providing Get a wide range of choices in your interactions. Next is 3D NPC. This mod adds depth and variety to Skyrim, integrating more than 250 NPCs into the world. Each NPC has diverse dialogues based on their background and roles. With over 80 voice actors, the mod provides fully recorded voices for a rich experience. The dialogue choices allow you to shape your character's role, adding humor and depth to each conversation. Whether you want to play as a trickster, a villain, a noble knight, or an assassin, this mod enables you to create immersive and diverse scenarios in Skyrim. Next is Citizens of Tamriel SE. This mod, similar to 3D NPC, adds new NPCs to the world of Tamriel. Each NPC is equipped with professional voice acting and diverse dialogues, and some NPCs can become companions or foes. These NPCs what have been meticulously recorded by over 80 voice actors, providing a perfect blend of voices. The dialogue choices allow you to shape your role, adding humor and depth to each conversation. 
whether you choose to be a trickster, a villain, a white knight, or an assassin. These features breathe more life and depth into Skyrim's NPCs, enhancing player immersion in conversations with them. Next is Skyrim Mia. This mod transforms in-game interaction text to be more realistic and immersive. For example, with Mia installed, you won't immediately know the names of all Skyrim residents and places. Instead, you'll infer this information based on their gender and race. Names of unfamiliar NPCs will be displayed as generic text like Nord Female, revealing only their race and gender. This adds a touch of realism, making you feel like you're truly exploring Skyrim and embodying the Dragonborn. Have you been to White Run? Next is Precision. This mod is one of the renowned combat-enhancing mods that also increases emotion. Precision makes weapon collisions and reactions physically accurate. For example, weapon trails appear only at the edge of the blade, and hitting an enemy results in a physically accurate impact response. Additionally, hitting specific materials causes recoil, camera shake, and a hit-stop effect. This mod supports both first-person and third-person perspectives, and applies to NPCs and creatures as well. It also provides custom collision for new movements, making combat more realistic and enjoyable. Next is Smoking Torches and Candles. This mod is a simple yet immersive addition that introduces a visual smoke effect to torches carried by the player and NPCs, as well as torches mounted on walls. Additionally, you can optionally add a floating smoke effect to most candles in the game world, further enhancing the atmosphere of the game. Next is Store Entrance Doorbells. This mod adds doorbells to the entrances of stores. The doorbells play a sound and animation when entering the shop, and if you try to sneak in, the owner will call the guards. The bell sound is very realistic and fits well with the world, adding a subtle but effective enhancement to the immersion of Skyrim. Next is Simply Knock. This mod allows you to knock on locked doors in Skyrim. If someone is inside, they may open the door for you. You can then use your persuasion skills to convince them to let you in. You can knock on the doors of all houses in Skyrim and some businesses where people live, such as farms and shops. If you need a place to stay for the night or want to visit someone at odd hours, knock on the door like a regular, culturally aware person. It's a useful mod for checking if someone is inside before attempting any suspicious activities, enhancing immersion in the game. Thank you for joining me on this journey to enhance Skyrim's immersion. I hope you found the must-have mods I introduced helpful in elevating your gaming experience. If you enjoyed the video and are looking forward to more Skyrim content, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. Until next time, happy modding and may your adventures in Skyrim be truly immersive. See you in the next video.